Welcome everyone to the weekly recap from Living Desert Zoom Gardens. We have settled into the phase of our next new normal with welcoming guests back into the park. We are so appreciating of everyone who has already visited and happy to see so many of you adhering to the face covering guidelines we have put in place to keep everyone safe, animals and humans. Also, a big thanks to everyone who celebrated World Giraffe Day with us on Sunday and used the hashtag stand tall for giraffe to help us raise awareness about the decline of the tallest species on the planet. There is still time left to stream the Women Who Loves Giraffe movie with your family. You can go to aza.org to purchase your ticket for your own private screening in your own home. While we were closed, the animal care team continued to work behind the scenes to enhance the animal lives. This included many training projects that kept everyone very busy. Today, I wanna to share some of the amazing positive reinforcement training successes the keepers have had. We use positive reinforcement training for a variety of reasons for the animals. We train to help the animals be voluntary participants in their own health care. Training behaviors like standing on a scale for routine weights, body presentation, or vaccine injections. The more we can help the animals be comfortable with this training, the safer and less stress for everyone. We also train animals to touch a target or station at a specific area, which basically means they position themselves at a spot we are able to access them safely. This can help when training a group of animals or moving animals around a habitat. Some other training we do is to train natural behaviors. This might sound kind of funny, but it means we ask the animals to show us behaviors they would naturally do on a cue. This helps them exercise and be able to show all of our guests just how incredibly skillful and talented they are. Many times, the guests just see the finished product, but what they don't see is days, weeks, and sometimes months of determination, patience, and persistence by the keepers working daily with the animals to learn the behaviors. It oftentimes starts with building a trusting relationship with the animal by positively while positively reinforcing with a favorite food item or something they really like. They build on this relationship until the animal begins to interact comfortably with the keeper. The keeper can then start to ask the animal for very specific behaviors sticking to strict criteria. I am so proud of this effort by the keepers to continually work with the animals to help them thrive in life through training. This is done with a great time commitment from the animal care team, knowing that repetition builds confidence for both the animals and for them. Just like we are all retraining ourselves to remember to put on our mask or take our reusable bags into the stores, through a determined effort, we can all make a positive difference in our new normal. You will be noticing some changes to our social media efforts now that we are reopened, but don't worry, we will continue to keep sharing our stories with you. So I hope to see you around the park with your mask on. Until next time, be safe, stay strong, and be good humans.